ABBA, Axillo Bilateral Breast Approach, an innovative method of thyroid surgery from Dr. Michael Imhoff at the Artus Hospital in Heidelberg. Through the ages, the female body has served as a model and inspiration for many an artist. It has been portrayed in art, both in painting and sculpture, again and again. As a result, the subject of aesthetics has taken on a special meaning for the woman of today. Modern thyroid surgery has recognized this need in women. Until now, women patients have usually come away from a thyroid operation with obvious scarring between the base of the neck and décolleté. The thyroid is a vital hormone-producing gland in the body and is located at the front of the neck, beneath the larynx. It ensures a correct hormone balance in the body. If the thyroid stops functioning properly, various types of thyroid disease can occur. According to the Federal Statistics Office in Germany, about a quarter of the women between 30 and 65 fall victim to thyroid disease. In many cases, these women have to undergo an operation. The ABBA procedure only requires a few very small incisions in the armpit and at the nipples. During the operation, the patient lies on her back with either the left or right arm extended, depending on the side of the thyroid being operated on. The procedure is done under general anesthesia and takes about one to one and a half hours. A two to three centimeter incision is made in the armpit to allow a channel to be made under the skin extending as far as the area under the neck muscles. A special trocar, 10 mm in diameter, is then inserted and CO2 is pumped through it to create the necessary space for the procedure. The neck muscles are dissected so that a clear image of the thyroid can be caught on camera during the operation. The resected thyroid tissue is later removed via the axillary channel. A small, 5 mm incision is made at the edge of the areola of the nipples and fine trocars, 5 mm in diameter, are pushed through under the skin until they lie under the neck muscles. The trocar on the right hand side is for the ultrasonic shear. The one on the left is for the neuromonitoring probe and the alligator forceps. And the trocar in the middle is for the camera. During the operation, the surgeon can watch the entire area on a large monitor. Exposure of the vocal cord nerve enables it to be imaged and then checked using neuromonitoring. To do this, the surgeon uses an alligator forceps to lift each of the thyroid lobes and position the neuromonitoring probe on the vocal cords. This enables the nerve signal to be checked before, during, and after the resection. Nerve function is also documented at the same time. Afterwards, the ultrasonic shear is used to divide the thyroid pole vessels, so no conventional stitches are required here. The parathyroids are then separated from the thyroid. They are not removed from the body and continue to function perfectly after the operation. This is followed by resection of either the entire thyroid or half of it using the ultrasonic shear. Finally, neuromonitoring is again used to test and document nerve function in the vocal cords. One after another, the trocars are removed very carefully. A read-on drainage system is placed in the armpit for the next one or two days. The breast and armpit incisions are closed with sterile strip adhesive tape. 
After only a few weeks, the scars are as good as invisible. The ABBA method guarantees you a high level of safety in more ways than one. Clear image of the area being operated on thanks to the improved lighting and detail in the close-ups provided by the videoscopic monitoring. Neuromonitoring of the focal cord nerve prevents damage to the vocal cords. Less pain after the operation. Very little loss of blood due to the use of ultrasonic shear. You can leave the hospital and go home just two days after the operation. And you'll have no scar on your neck either.